Do you have a favourite memory of the last time you were in New Zealand? It was all the way up till... <laughs> I mean, no, I got so sick. I couldn't play any of the shows. It was all bad memories. I really loved coming here, and I was so, I had such a bad flu or something. I was so sick, and I couldn't play any of the shows. So it's mostly fairly mediocre memories yeah. of that trip. We did manage a show with The Who here, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, we did, yeah, didn't yeah, we? That's I, right, yeah. that's right. Was that the last time we were here? That was the last time we that? played here, I think. Yeah, but the tour was after that, right? Yeah. I think okay, then yeah, it was when we right. played with The Who. That was amazing. It was so good. <laughs> <laughs> we're just hot that up. Yeah. At this point, our bar is low. We just actually want to play. <laughs> oh, so if you have not great memories then, do you have a favorite thing about New Zealand? <laughs> the first time I was here, I had this crazy trip where I met all these people, ended up going out uh, after a crazy night after the show. I, I really loved it. It was amazing. It was such a fantastic night. Um, I can, so I'm carrying that one thing with me all this time. <laughs> yeah. Kiwis are great like that, eh? How do you find them as an audience? They're right out there. Yeah, yeah. you right look in there. front of the stage yeah. and they are. <laughs> That's right. incredible. Because yeah. we've been told that they're quite tame. They're quite relaxed. Do you find that? Oh, I don't know. We're about to find you out. You know, we were told that about New Zealand and Australia both. And when the times we've come down here, it has not been the case for us. They've been very oh, enthusiastic that. audiences. So. Fantastic. Yeah, I yeah. never noticed that. Yeah. I get, we get a little lost on stage sometimes. Like, there is that. You don't want to spend too much time paying attention to the audience because, <laughs> I mean, well, even if you got a few, you can only really see the front. And even if you got someone terrible in the front row, there's still like thousands of people behind them. You don't want to get too distracted by that. Yeah, no, of course. Do the you action's have, on stage. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> is there like a wild crowd moment that you remember, vividly remember? Not just New Zealand. Oh. Oh. Well, I used to stage dive, and that was always kind of crazy. and probably unhealthy in the long term. We've yeah. stopped shows mid-song because weird things were going down no in way. the front of the stage, people passing out and some fights have broken out where clowns. Oh my god. Clowns. Evil clowns. Evil clowns, oh. yeah. Oh no, we don't like that. No, not at all. <laughs> I'm willing to make up a story about them. <laughs> <laughs> um, Adam, I heard that you have shares in three California wineries. Well, it's all kind of one but we have different labels underneath right. it, yeah. Yeah, are you gonna visit any New Zealand wineries when you're here? Oh, I don't know. I wish, I don't think we have the time to do that. I um, love, the, love the New Zealand wines though. Yeah? Yeah, I do too. I'm trusting Great my whites. friend to have a yeah. full cellar when we get there. Surely. So if we don't get to visit any wineries, I expect him to have most of the winery at his house. <laughs> um, you're about to perform these shows as part of the Butter Miracle tour. Can you tell us a little bit about what fans can expect from the shows? Well, the show changes every night. We don't actually make the set list up until Emma and I sit down after dinner every night and decide what we're going to play that night. We will be playing songs from every record, and we'll play the entire Butter Miracle Suite yeah. at one point. Um, but other than that, it's all I know, because we haven't made any set lists yet. <laughs> yeah, it's all a mystery to me. Just see how you feel on the day. Yeah, yeah. You have a part two of Butter Miracle coming out as well, don't you? We hope. Yeah. We just have to make it. Yeah, we have to. It's, it's, it's home, that's we all we left to do. Okay. It's all finished except for making it. Okay. The rest of it is, yeah, and the writing. Yeah. The writing's not finished, but soon. I, I would have said we'd do it this year, but we booked so much touring this year that uh, I don't know if we'll get that done. So Elevator Boots that you just performed, what is the inspiration behind that? Well, music's been a really big part of our life, and, you know, we've had at least especially the two of us childhood spent being fanatical you know fans and adulthood where we actually made music and uh, uh there's two songs on the record bobby and the rat kings is written from the perspective of a fan in love with this fictional band and elevator boots is more from the perspective of of a guy in a band and what his life is like you know leaving always leaving places but uh kind yes. of living for the show every night yeah yeah it's got, it's mildly autobiographical yeah, you know, we stepped through the looking glass, so there it is. You know, <laughs> so. your songs are multi generational. Like, how does it feel creating a record such as Butter Miracle and knowing that your older fans and new fans are going to be able to enjoy it? Yeah, that's like the coolest thing. It's the, the greatest thing, yeah. It's really yeah. great to look out in the audience and see a wide swath of uh, different age groups that are all getting off on it. It's really yeah. unusual. I think we're very lucky with that, you know? yeah. yeah. I mean, I think when you dream about doing this, you don't dream about it for like a year, you know, you dream about it for your whole life. You want to spend their life doing it. 
but it, it just never happens or almost never you know usually you get a if you if you have any success at all it lasts a couple years and then you're done you know we've been able to do this for coming up on the third decade now and it's uh, it's really cool I, I kick myself all the time or i would i, don't, I can't kick myself i'll, I'll, kick, I'll kick other guys <laughs> 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 and making good, yeah. yeah. Um, if you could go back now and know, like, 20, 30 years ago when you were writing these iconic songs, would, is there anything that you would change if you knew that they were still going to be played on radio today? Not really. I think we nailed it. What is your favourite song that you've ever made? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it changes all the time. I, I do think with The Long December, it's the... It just feels perfect to me. I don't know if it's my favorite, but there's never been a night where I didn't want to play it. And I don't think I can say that about anything else. Like, I love all our songs, but there's a night where I don't feel like playing something, you know, and, there, and that's been true for every song except A Long December. I don't think I've ever had a night where I didn't want to play it. Uh, and I can't think of a single other song that I could apply that. A yeah, Long December is a strong yeah. Yeah. one in the catalog. When we did uh, Palisades Park and we got that done, yeah. for me personally, it was like, oh, wow, that's... We we just did that. That's cool. It's really yeah. unusual yeah. for what we, we and sort of and Butter Miracle is almost a extrapolation of that song as far as different movements going on. So they might be my proudest yeah. moments yeah, in the band. Palisades Park and the Sweet Butter Miracle Suite. But I, you know, I, it was just so they were so hard and such a challenge, and it came out so cool. Um, yeah. So Jamie Lee Curtis came out and said that um, older. Um, artists that have come from like the 90s, early 2000s, they should be playing matinee shows for the older crowd. Would you ever do that? Boy, it's, it's really hard singing early in the day and I've done it a lot the last <laughs> few days. <laughs> I don't want to make a habit of it. Um, I'm better at yeah, night. Yeah, I like the night. Them along too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I mean, I'm, I love Jamie Lee and I couldn't be any happier for her. I'm so glad that all happened, but uh, no, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> We're, it's rock and roll. It's supposed to take place at Absolutely. night. Yeah. <laughs> Would you play a matinee show for her? For Jamie Lee? Absolutely. Well, yeah, yeah absolutely. <laughs> That's different. Yeah. I think she's very cool. I really do. Uh, is she and, a celebrity crush? Well, I knew her dad. Oh. Um, and so, like, not we're not the same age group, but I, I spent. Isn't her dad Tony Curtis? Yeah. 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 I was on a plane to England once. And uh, we were all up in the front of the plane, and everyone was asleep except for me and Tony Curtis. And we sat up all night talking. He was on his way to uh, to London to do a show, like a, 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 an art show of his paintings. And we talked all night. And then, yeah. And a few months later, after that, they the Playboy Mansion, which had been closed for years and they weren't doing anything in it, they reopened it. I think it was Hugh Hefner's 75th birthday. He got divorced, and they invented Viagra. And so they reopened the Playboy Mansion. And my friends were all talking about how cool it was going to be and everything. And when we walked in the front door, Hugh Hefner was standing there with Tony Curtis. And before anyone could say anything, Tony was like, Adam, Hugh, you got to meet my friend Adam. He's great. <laughs> and all my friends were just like, whoa. <laughs> and I've, I've, I've never quite forgotten that. And so, yeah, I would love to hang out with, Jane, with Jamie Lee and tell her how I thought her dad was the greatest guy. Yeah, he was so cool. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, thank you guys so much for sitting thank down you. with Thanks us. us. Can't wait to see your show. Thank shows. You. You're nice. coming to all of them? Oh, I would love to come Fantastic. to all of them. <laughs> Why not? Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.